Good day, viewers. You are welcome to the Lord TV, your number one fantastic reality TV that gives you all that it takes to be enlightened on trending news such as politics, entertainment, sports, and what have you. If you are new on this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button as well as already subscribed. So please don't forget to drop your comments anytime I drop new videos. Thank you. Cha cha. News of the day. Southeast need to convince Nigeria to succeed President Buhari in 2023. Barrister Ima Ibeduro is the National Organizing Secretary of the All Progressive Congress, APC. In this interview, he speaks on the politics in his party and the glamour for Igbo presidency in 2023, among others. During the election, your party lost some critical states to the opposition. Do you think the APC National Working Committee, NWC, can retain power in 2023, considering this huge loss. Barrister Ima Ibeduro, you might be looking at the cup as half empty, but I am looking at the cup as half full. I am looking at the positive side of it. Remember that this is a party that was in power for the past four years, and the level of opposition we faced was such that every other party wanted to take over power from us. The fact that they didn't succeed is a major achievement, contrary to what you are saying. People are looking for opportunity to advance their cause positively or negatively. The fact that the Senate president left at a time in the life of this administration is not the making of the working committee because all those arrangements must have been concluded even before the emergence of this working committee because there was nothing the NWC did to make the Senate president and the speaker to leave at the time they did. As a matter of fact, we did everything possible to make sure that they didn't leave. Enough consultation were made and enough contact were made to make sure that things work out well. Unfortunately, you can do the much you can, but people have the choice to do what they want to do. The fact that we were able to manage their exit is a tremendous achievement of the working committee, but it is not every party that will survive the exit of a sitting Senate president and speaker. The fact that we were able to manage it and make sure that the party continued to be in the majority in the Senate and the House till the election came is also a big achievement. The party primaries were characterized by crisis leading to the loss of a number of seats. Are you not worried about this and how are you using the lesson to advance the future? Barrister, Ibeduro, some of these things depends on how you look at them or the interpretation you give to them. You cannot rule out misunderstanding in a big family like the APC, agreed that during the congresses that brought about the president elected officials, there were bound to be misunderstandings here and there. Contrary to what people believe, the NWC is subject to the National Executive Committee and whatever mode of primaries we choose was approved by the INEC. In our bid, to also extend the democratic principles, we wanted the participation of a lot more of our party faithful rather than a select few. When the idea of direct primary primaries came up, we also realized that some states could have their individual peculiarities. So we gave option to the states and said, depending on what you want in your state and approved, by stakeholders of the party in that state. The National Working Committee is willing to approve so that everybody will be fully accommodated. To be fair to Comrade Adams Oshomole, the National Chairman, 
a lot of things have been heaped on his head and is accused of taking decisions alone. That is not true. If you go through records of our meetings, you will find out that the decision to adopt either direct or indirect primary or consensus as the case may be is in the decision of the National Executive Committee of the party and it was to reflect the different peculiarities in the various states. There are states that no matter what you try to do, due to insecurity or some other reasons, you may not be able to do direct primaries, but it was for the states to determine what they think was favorable to them and we allow them that space to decide what they wanted to do. No matter how you look at it, whether you do direct or indirect primaries, there are issues that will ultimately lead to reconciliation after the election. Reconciliation is not a one-party thing because it must involve all the individuals concerned, but there are some individuals or their own refused every attempt to reconcile and proceed with whatever action they have chosen. There is nothing you can do. You cannot force them not to go to court if they want to because that will be going against their fundamental right to seek redress. So, there are certain things you cannot do. But we did everything possible to reconcile all wearing parties before the election. But there were some people who decide that whatever we did, they would not agree. Some individuals are like that. And what can you do to them? Thank you for listening to this news. Viewers, please don't forget your comments concerning this news are very, very important. Don't forget to leave your comment behind. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to receive more updates. Thank you.